And my second answer, remember, is negative 4 plus 7 is equal to x. Negative 4 plus 7 is just 3. So I end up with two of the exact same answers, except this way I solved using algebra from vertex form plugging y equals 0. This way I solved by putting into standard form first, then factor it like last unit. So this unit, we're going to resort to doing it this way. However, from last unit, you can also attempt to do it this way. Let's take a look at example three, the last example. Use the vertex form to write the equation of a quadratic function in, from its graph. So if this is the graph, I started this off because if I want vertex form, the most important point is the vertex. The vertex is three, negative five h is 3 and k is negative 5. So I plug this in here. I know that the vertex form of a parabola looks like this. And I know that h is 3 and k is negative 5. So that's what I plugged in here. So this is pretty much the equation of my parabola with the exception that I have to figure out what the a value is. How do I figure the a value? I need another point on this parabola. They labeled another point to be 1, negative 3. When x is 1, we know that y is negative 3. So that's what I put in here. y is negative 3. I plug that in here. x is 1. Plug that in here. And I'm going to solve for a. So my next line, I did the 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. And I wrote everything else. Then, continuing the math, I ended up with negative 2 squared, which is 4 times a. So 4a minus 5. Then if I continue from here, if I bring the 5, negative 5 over the other side, this is going to be negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 4a. So I get 4a is equal to this plus this is positive 2. Divide out the 4 from both sides, and so I get a is equal to a half, or we're okay to write 0 0.5 if you wish. So my final answer to this is y equals my a is 0 0.5, x minus 3 all squared minus 5. This is my final solution. And of course you can write this in the other version which should look like this. And this is your final answer.